If you have a preferred texture combination for your scenes, you may consider converting them into a regular Artlantis shader. Creating a new shader always starts with the preparation of the texture maps in an external image editor. The diffuse map should be properly cropped and evenly lit to avoid the repetition effect. A part of this diffuse image will be used for the thumbnail of the shader in the catalog. By converting the diffuse image into black and white or grayscale images, you'll get the shininess and bump maps. Then comes the normal map, which is able to simulate even more irregularity of a surface. To create a new shader in Atlantis, open an existing shader in the shader editor, change its settings, and resave it with a new name. It's recommended to always start with the simplest Atlantis shader, the basic. To open the shader editor, go to the main tools menu and open Create Shader From. The editor appears and we can apply the first map for the diffuse. Double click in the square reserved for the image thumbnail and browse your hard drive to find the right image file. The next image is for the preview. By entering the right width values for the tiles for both preview and diffuse images, you can resize the tiles later in the inspector. The next parameter of the new shader will be the reflection. You can delimit the size of the slider by entering a different value in the maximum field. This is how you can ensure using reasonable values for this slider. For shininess, you can introduce a grayscale image to differentiate the surface behavior in this regard. A similar image will be used for the bump. Through bump maps, you can simulate grooves and imperfections on surfaces. In our case, the black lines will deepen or lift the grout between the tiles depending on the direction we drag the slider. Normal maps will simulate the irregularity of tiles in space, and as a result, the reflected image will be distorted in each tile in a different way. For some materials, Experts can complete the list of parameters with the Fresnel slider as well. When you are ready, name your shader and save it in a separate folder. As soon as the operation is finished, Atlantis will highlight the settings of the new shader in the inspector. You can now resize the tiles and change the parameters. The Create Shader From function allows you to open any existing shader in the shader editor. Use it to modify existing shaders or create new, customized shaders for your media catalog.